Hello Capricorn, this is going to be your love reading. It's going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, or left me a comment recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and I'm just really grateful for all of the support. So thank you so much. All right, let's get into it, Capricorn Spirit. Messages for my Capricorn Sun Rising and Venus viewers, please, in regards to love. Full disclosure, I have combined two oracle decks here, the Enchanted Map and the Energy Oracles, and I have taken out some cards just to make it easier to shuffle. Just wanna let you guys know that. Um, some of the cards I took out just didn't weren't as clear or didn't have anything to do with love so or relationships period so just want to let you guys know spirit messages for Capricorn please what does Capricorn need to know for February 22nd to the 29th 2020 messages for Capricorn please Time is fluid, so this could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future, and energies can be reversed, so just keep, whoa, okay, fine. I'm gonna stop there, because clearly, they want me to stop. Okay, magic prayer, this is all about praying for something, um, almost like making a wish and having your prayer be answered, so that's awesome energy. I have coming apart, interesting. So some of you are separated from someone, are not speaking to them right now, or are breaking up with someone. And then I have victory and appreciation. So I feel like a lot of you, your, your prayer that's being answered is to finally be appreciated and cared for, like you deserve, is what I feel here. So that's beautiful energy. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about. Spirit, please. Messages for Capricorn in regards to love. Messages for Capricorn in regards to love. Just Capricorn need to know in regards to love, Spirit. I am really loving this energy. I just keep looking at these cards, even coming apart. I mean, obviously coming apart is not always a great feeling <laughs> but the card itself is so beautiful there's such a piece that I'm getting from this card the world well that makes sense a cycle has ended for something new to begin two of cups Capricorn what else do I have here five of Pentacles I feel like this being right under coming apart I feel like the separation has really hurt you. Um, but then I have Queen of Pentacles here. Stability, security, commitment. Queen of Wands. Action, attraction, passion. Temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. Healing energy. The balancing, patience divine timing and death sign of scorpio wow just wow king of wands under the deck okay so right away what i'm seeing here to me it's like a story for a lot of you there's been an ending in your life that has left you feeling shut out and isolated this could have happened, like I said, recently or in the past. There was some, there was an ending that really, a separation that hurt you. However, this was all part of a cycle. And now that there's a transformation taking place here with de the world and death, I feel like it's gonna bring you that answered prayer, victory and appreciation. That's how I'm seeing this. To me, as clear as day. I'm gonna clarify with a different deck, but I just wanted to just put that out there. Spirit, please help me clarify these mes messages for Capricorn. 
of witches. I split the deck and look what I have. Queen of Wands and Temperance again. Just confirmation, just, just saying. Spirit, messages for my Capricorn viewers, please, regarding this spread. Messages regarding love for Capricorn. Help me clarify this spread, please, for Capricorn. Okay, let's get into it. Tell me about the world. Spirit. I have the Hermit, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. A lot of you have been isolated or taking time apart to think. Doing a lot of self-reflection here. Healing again. Um, some of you are looking for spiritual guidance. A lot of you have been protecting yourself, your heart, with the Four of Pentacles here. However, there's still something within you that wants to change your situation. That's what I'm getting. I feel like even though you've gone through a lot, Capricorn, you haven't given up. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, someone with Virgo in their chart. Under the deck, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Makes perfect sense to me. Tell me about the Two of Cups here. A lot of you are going through it, the ending of a cycle because the wheel has been turning to change things for you. Death is all about change. The wheel of Fortune is all about change and so is the world. Tell me about this Two of Cups for Capricorn. There's the Two of Cups here. Huh. Death. This was somebody that you really cared about with the Two of Cups. And there was an ending, a separation. There was a, a coming apart here. Notice how in this card coming apart, there's there's like a division, right? Almost like a division here too, where you can almost imagine a line right through the two of cups here. Death again. Eight of cups are on the deck. Some of you walked away from a, from a relationship or they walked away from you. Tell me more about, okay, fine. Oh my God. Two of Cups and Magician. You know how I'm seeing this? I'm seeing that you guys are manifesting something else. A different Two of Cups. Or a, or a transformation of your current relationship. You want to change something here. Wow, I can't believe I keep getting the same cards. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Definitely a new beginning. You guys are trying to manifest something new for yourselves. Whoa, how do you mean? Ask my question. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Three of three of swords, yeah. You guys have been through, a, okay, higher font. Some of you could have been, again, long-term commitment here with someone and there was heartbreak and pain. Higher font could be a Taurus, but I'm not seeing it that way. I'm seeing this is a very long-term commitment almost like marriage. Some of you are married or were married. And there was some sort of betrayal, pain, a painful separation. But I keep getting this, the bottom of the deck is Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like Spirit is telling me for every ending, there's a new beginning. I, mean, I just got that so strongly. Every time I, I see something here, I see something new. Queen of Cups, under the deck, Moon. Yeah. There's fear and doubt here, but there's there's nothing to fear. I have victory and appreciation here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you, Capricorn. Oh my God. Look what just popped out. Are you kidding me? Temperance again. A lot of you have been healing and healing from this Seven of Swords energy, bottom of the deck, from this betrayal, this pain. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles and Pe Temperance card, please. I can't believe I keep getting the same cards. 
I have gotten Queen of Wands twice, Temperance twice, Death twice. It's just more confirmation that this is the message. You were unappreciated in the past. You were probably taken advantage of in the past. Someone took advantage of your kindness or the kind of generous person that you were. Oh man, that flipped over all the way over there. Okay. Wow, the lovers. And I feel like you've been patiently waiting for something that's fair to you with the lovers. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but I'm more thinking about you're manifesting this type of union, a union that is fair to you, balanced, actually loving, someone that actually appreciates you. I'm just getting that very strongly. Tell me about the queen of, hold on. Tell, oh my God, the tower. Tell me about the queen of wands, okay? Yep, you wanna take action, you wanna move forward. Could be a cancer, but. Tell me about temperance. There's temperance here. I mean, temperance is here twice. Well, temperance is here twice. Okay, I'm just gonna take all these. We got temperance, seven of cups, four of cups, nine of cups. Cups everywhere. A cup right here as well in temperance. You have options, choices. You've been dreaming of an offer that you can actually look up for. You've been trying to manifest your Nine of Cups. And all this time you've been healing and I feel like the universe has stepped in to bring you this person that you've been manifesting. King of Pentacles under the deck, I'm telling you. Tell me about death. Tell me about death, please, for Scorpio. Oh my God, that's too much. Tell me about death for Scorpio. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Five of Cups and the Moon again. I feel like there's a transformation for you from this energy of Five of Cups and the Moon. Again, the Moon, once I saw it, I thought of fear and doubt. Some of you have given up on this idea that you're going to find the right person. Others of you just can't let go of the past hurt. But there's a transformation taking place, a change happening here. OMG. The fool under the deck. Could it be any clearer? This is a new journey for you. A new cycle, a new lease on life, Capricorn. And look what's, oh my God, I can't even, I cannot, I cannot, the world right behind it. I'm just going to leave it there. Like, I don't need to clarify anymore, Capricorn. It's on the table, okay? It's been confirmed. The same cards have top popped up. I have the lovers. I have nine of cups. I have over here the two of cups twice, Okay. And it has been a long time coming for some of you. Some of you are just ready to get this started, get this moving, because you've been manifesting this. Do you guys want to see what's behind the world? Do you want to see? Ten of Wands. You are ready to drop this burden and finish this cycle. It's time, Capricorn. It is. It has been more than enough time for you. You've done everything you needed to do. You've healed. You've tried to focus on yourself, on getting over this past hurt, and you're going to be rewarded, I'm telling you. So I'm going to leave it there. What an awesome reading, Capricorn. If this resonated with you, please let me know down in the comments what your prayer has been, what your victory is, what you've been manifesting. I'd love to know. If this did not resonate with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading today, but check out your other signs for more messages. And I'll see you guys in my next video.